In this lecture, we are going to send some HTML response for the different routes which we created in our last lecture. Currently from our node application, we are sending text responses for different routes. But instead of sending a text response, now we want to send an HTML response. For that, here we have this index.html file and in this index.html file we have an h3 element and a paragraph element. And we are also trying to use some static files like style.css and script.js. So here, instead of returning this text response, we are reading this index.html file and we are storing it inside this HTML variable. So let me use this HTML variable and let me return it as the response. So if I save the changes now, if we stop the server by pressing Ctrl C and if we start the server again, and if I go to the web page, and there if I reload the page, you will see that that H3 element and the paragraph element has been rendered in the web page. But if I go back to VS Code, you will notice that in the style.css, I have added some styles for H3 element and paragraph element. And we are including the style.css in our index.html file at this line. But these styles are not applied on this H3 element and this paragraph element. And here, if I go ahead and if I type the path of that CSS file, so that is in template folder, in styles folder, and there we have this style.css file. If I press enter, you see we get this message error 404 page not found. So on the server, Node.js is not able to find this style.css file. And same is true for this script.js file. And this is because of the way Node.js works. In Node.js, we cannot directly use static files. And when I say static files, I mean the static assets which we might need in our node application. For example, the CSS file, the script file, the images, etc. Now we will of course learn how we can use static files in our node application, but we will learn it in one of the future lectures of this course. For now, what I'm going to do is I am going to delete this script folder from here. And I will also delete this styles folder from here. And I'm going to replace this HTML with this HTML, which I have written here. So I'll copy it and I will paste it inside this index.html file. So here I'm writing some CSS style using this style stack. So instead of using an external CSS file, we are writing the CSS inside this HTML itself using this styles element. And then in the body here, we are creating a navigation bar. And then here we have the main content area. And for now, we are displaying this static content you are in home page. If I save the changes here, let's stop the server by pressing Ctrl C and let's start the server again. And we are reading this index.html file and we are storing that content inside this HTML variable. And we are passing that HTML variable to this response.end method. So basically, we are sending this HTML in the response. So if I go to the web page and if I type root URL and if I press enter, you see now we are getting the HTML response and here it says you are in home page. And here we also have a navigation bar. So when I click on this home link, you see in the URL, the URL has changed. So the URL is now root URL slash home and we are handling that slash home route here. Okay. So for this slash home route also, we are sending the same HTML response. Then if I click on this about link, here we have been routed to root URL slash about. And in that case, we are sending this response. You are in about page. And if I click on this contact link in the URL, the URL has changed. So now the URL is root URL slash contact. And for that route, for that URL, we are getting this response. You are in contact page. So this navigation menu is working as expected. Now here, if I click on this products link, we are redirected to root URL slash products. Now we are not handling this slash products route in our node application. So in that case, the default route has been called and there we are getting this response error 404 page not found. Okay. So for the root URL as well as root URL slash home, we are getting this HTML response, but we want to get the same HTML response for the about page and the contact page as well. So in the VS code, I will go ahead and I will copy this HTML, this HTML variable 
and here instead of sending this text response we are going to send that HTML okay and here also let's do the same thing but we don't want to send the same HTML for each of the routes what we want is if the user types root URL or root URL slash home in that case in the content we want to say you are in home page but if the user types root URL slash about then we want to show you are in about page and if the user types root URL slash contact we want to show you are in contact page and for any other routes we want to show page not found for that what I'm going to do here is here I'm going to create a placeholder and for the placeholder you can use anything what I'm going to do is I'm going to use double set of curly braces like this inside that I will use two percentage and inside that I will specify a text I will say content okay so this is going to be my placeholder and what I want is I want to replace this placeholder from our app.js so on this HTML I am going to call a method called replace and to this replace method we need to pass two arguments the first argument is the string which we want to replace here we want to replace this string so I'll copy it and I will pass it here as the first argument and the second argument is another string which you want to replace this first string with so here I will say you are in home page let me copy this line of code so basically this replace method and let me use it on other places as well so here I want to replace this content with you are in about page in the same way here I want to replace this content with you are in contact page and finally here I want to replace this content this placeholder with error 404 page not found okay with this let's save the changes let's also go ahead and let's save this index.html file let's stop the server by pressing ctrl c and let's start the server let's go back to our web page and if I type root URL, it says you are in home page. If I type root URL slash home, in that case also it should say you are in home page. But if I type root URL slash about, in that case it should say you are in about page. Okay, so here the content has changed. In the same way, if I type root URL slash contact, in that case it should say you are in contact page. And if I type some other route, some other URL, for example, products, and if I press enter, it should say error 404 page not found. So now for each of these routes, we are sending an HTML response. And here, this index.html is acting like the master page of our application. So basically it is acting like a template. And in that template, we are simply replacing this placeholder this content with the actual content which we want for that particular page so in the app.js we are simply reading that html file and then based on the route we are replacing this placeholder with the content which we want to display in the web page and then we are returning that new html that updated html as the response so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.